Hey guys, what's up? My name's Chopper, and today, guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about what scares me about Modern Warfare's multiplayer. Obviously, the game is still a good couple of months away, so it's hard to speculate exactly what we're, you know, to be afraid of or things that we're going to be concerned about, but we can look a little bit down the road and, and figure out what might be coming towards us. Now, I should correct myself, there's actually two things I would say that kind of freak me out about Modern Warfare's multiplayer that I really feel like are integral to, like, the structure and how people are going to enjoy this MP, and one of the problems is honestly way easier to fix than the other, or it's at least a lot easier to address than the second one and so we're going to talk about both of them one of the things that i really think is worth talking about is the state of the microtransactions now i'm not going to talk too much about this because i don't think that's actually the biggest problem but don't get me wrong i'm not trying to undercut the you know effects of microtransactions and the way that it affects players and how they enjoy the game that sort of thing like i'm not even defending that in any sense of the word what i'm more concerned about is the second problem rather than just simply the fact that microtransactions might be returned to the game well they definitely will be returning to the game but the way that they're implemented is very important. And from what I've been able to gather, this seems to be like a really big turnoff for a lot of players in Black Ops 4, and I, I never really got too much into Black Ops 4's MP, or even like the really the entire loot progression in that multiplayer to begin with, because as a Zombies player, the, the loot stream is like a completely different system than the multiplayer. It's very weird, and it's not very, it's not very consistent at all, and so I think that's a little bit of an issue as well, but regardless, it's important to keep in mind that a lot of the big decisions that come with microtransactions, and especially in Call of Duty, all really come from Activision, and so Infinity Ward is is not completely responsible for all of this. Now, that's not to say that the studio's hands are entirely clean either. Like, it, it's a, it's very much a gray area, and it's not like just Activision pulling the strings on Treyarch or Infinity Ward or whatever, and it's not like, you know, the big evil corporate guys who are just controlling the dev studios. You know what I mean? It doesn't really work like that. But it is absolutely crucial for the health of this game that they get things right. Now, it's not entirely going to be all reliant on this microtransaction system because the biggest problem is still yet to come, and we're going to discuss that right after this. I think for the past couple years, Call of Duty has been trying to find the right microtransaction system that, you know, has this good balance of not, you know, upsetting its player base and still feeling rewarding, still feeling like you're progressing, trying to avoid pay to win if all possible, which honestly, I think the pay to win system is backwards from the get go. Because think about it for one second. Let's say you have a pay to win system where you can clearly buy items that are going to give you an in-game advantage over other players. That's obviously unfair. That's not a system that can work long term. But let's also say that there's a pay to win system that isn't, you can't, you can't call, call it pay to win, quote unquote, because like maybe the guns aren't super overpowered or whatever, or maybe they're weaker than the base weapons of the game. If that's the case, then nobody wants them and then they get wasted. And clearly nobody's going to purchase a gun that they think is worse than all the other ones they could have. And so that's where you run into the predicament. I think that's what Call of Duty is stuck in right now. How do, how do they get a system that isn't inherently paid to win, giving you an advantage, but also, you know, still feels like a reward progression. In the past few years, COD's tried a lot of things to get this right. And so far, they've not really struck gold at all. Like there's not one system that you can, everybody can point to be like, yeah, that was false. And to be honest, with you, I don't think one even exists. Because with every complex system that exists, that doesn't it doesn't even have to necessarily be about video games. Anything in life that's a complex system is imperfect. Whether the flaws are minor or major, they'll make themselves known at some point down the road. So what I'm trying to get at here is what I think Modern Warfare's multiplayer can do, or what it really has to do to survive as a system, is it has to be evolving over time, and it, and it really needs to rely on feedback from everybody else. It needs to rely on a lot of different sources of feedback. I don't think COD can have a microtransaction store or full system that's going to satisfy everybody and then, you know, keep Activision quotas happy as well. Like, I, I don't see those two living in harmony just as one system. It needs to be something that's constantly evolving as the year goes on. I think that's the only way it's going to survive. That's kind of what Black Ops 4 tried to do, from what I can understand. BO4 system really changed a lot with the loot progression, and it relied a lot on listening to the community feedback, but also at the same time, what you got to know is that they didn't completely unstructure the entire system they had put in place. They made small tweaks to it at a time, very careful and very calculated, and I think it's in a much better place than it used to be, so certainly when the game came out, and I think that's what Modern Warfare's multiplayer needs to do with its microtransactions to be successful. Like, this this dialogue has to continue between the publisher, the studio, and then also the players who actually purchase these. Their best bet, in my opinion, is to keep that dialogue going because, uh, as far as I'm concerned right now, they're not going to find a perfect system that works for microtransactions that makes everybody happy. I just I just don't see it being as a possibility. There are going to be complaints, there are going to be, you know, some unfairness to it, but as long as they keep the dialogue going and we can sort of rule out a lot of these unfairness and, and make it as player friendly as possible, then at the very least, it shouldn't be an absolute disaster then. Now, the other problem that scares me about Modern Warfare's multiplayer, I, I don't think has an easy solution at all. Like, I'm not even saying the microtransaction system
system has an easy solution. That is that is the furthest thing from the truth. But I think this is an even like more fundamental problem with the game that I'm kind of worried about. So basically, this year's Modern Warfare is going to be a soft reboot of COD 4. They, they want to bring back either the old veteran fans that played during COD 4, or maybe, I guess, have newer Call of Duty players who weren't around during that time to experience what we all did back in the day if you were around for that. And it seems absolutely apparent this time that they are banking completely on nostalgia. Now, they kind of did that with World War II, if you'll remember. Like, they, they really pushed the idea that this is a boots-on-the-ground Call of Duty game. This is, you know, back to the roots, all that all that sort of stuff. Like, that was the absolute motto that was going on. And so, I think they're sort of doing the same thing here, except now it's just very specifically targeted towards the Modern Warfare fans. In and of itself, don't get me wrong, this, there's absolutely nothing wrong with nostalgia. And even in little doses, I think it's extremely healthy for a game. But the, my problem here is... If they have nothing else to offer besides nostalgia, then you could run into some issues. And granted, yeah, it's too early and we don't know a ton about the multiplayer right now, and fair enough, but what I'm concerned about is this. The two things that we do know is that specialists will not be returning. There are operators coming back this time, and uh, they're simply just cosmetic changes. They're not, you know, they're not like Rainbow Six operators where they have a gameplay purpose and effect. It's not like that at all. Simply cosmetic and uh, just aesthetic. But the other thing is that it's also boots on the ground, clearly. I might be going a little bit against the grain here, but there are some some Call of Duty games that have advanced movement that I genuinely like better than Boots on the Ground. For example, I think Black Ops 3 did it the best with its advanced movement. You had an entirely new mechanic at your hands that separates the good players from the really good players, and Black Ops 3, and even IW, even though that wasn't the most beloved multiplayer, its movement system was at least pretty close to BO3's, and BO3 gave you the most control and, and finesse over your movement. For the first time in a while with BO3's multiplayer, I actually sunk some time into it. Like, I, I played that multiplayer a lot, and I found enjoyment out of it because it felt felt very actually innovative to me. I know it's kind of like a meme word in the COD community now. But either way, it was something that felt incredibly fresh and it was a brand new skill to learn. And it's pretty much since then, there has been a separation of the COD community of people who like advanced movement and people who don't. And so they tried to bank on the nostalgia with World War II. And I don't think that worked very well long-term. It might've been like a short-term like cash-in and, and some people were did buy into the nostalgia and fair enough. I mean, that that's pretty easy to do. And so I know there are a lot of Call of Duty fans out there that absolutely adore World War II, but generally speaking, this is not a Call of Duty multiplayer that's going to go down in history as one of the greatest. And by me saying that, I'm not implying that it's a bad multiplayer experience at all. I, I, I even think that after all, everything is said and done, all the DLCs come out for that game and all the patches have been made, I think World War II has probably one of the most balanced and, I guess, fun multiplayers in a long time. But that doesn't mean it necessarily, like, broke new grounds or, or really, I don't know, shook the COD community up. It was very much a good Call of Duty, but I also think a very forgettable Call of Duty as well. And so the core of my issue and what freaks me out and scares me about this multiplayer is this. I, I don't think that people are going to necessarily enjoy the game as much if it doesn't have something new, something fresh, something something big and innovative. With Specialist gone and with Advanced Movement gone, what do we have left? Clearly, it's trying to be a lot like the older Call of Duty, so we're going to get a lot of returning features like kill streaks and, and things like that that people adore from the older games, but how quickly is the novelty going to wear off? If the core gameplay of Modern Warfare doesn't have anything to like captivate you, that's, that's something that you've never experienced before, then what's left? because the thing is, it's not going to be the microtransactions that keep you playing it for the most part. These things might serve as little bonuses, you know, to reward you as you're playing, but the core gameplay experience of Modern Warfare itself, it, if it doesn't have anything of value to, to offer that you haven't played before in the past, then I think this game's multiplayer and even potentially the entire rest of the game, all the other modes could get stale pretty quickly. And I don't want that to happen. Believe me, I'm not sitting here trying to be pessimistic about Call of Duty for, you know, pessimist's sake. If you know me, clearly I have some degree of a vested interest of Call of Duty doing well. So I, I, I genuinely want this to be the best game it can possibly be, and that's why I'm so critical about it, because why otherwise would you be critical about something if you don't love it? The point of being critical is to separate the good from the bad and keep what's good and, and I guess go with that forward and then get rid of the bad stuff. It's not to just focus on the bad or call everything else in the game bad. And so since we don't know really that much about the game in general, I guess it's still very hopeful that there could be something that is going to absolutely just stun us. And what I, I think Black Ops 4 did Blackout really, really well. I think that was such a good move of stepping out of their comfort zone. You could, you know, you can cry about it being a BR all you want, not being original, but Bla Blackout was at least a very good attempt at 
at doing something that was completely out of the ordinary. And as much as I hate to say it, I, I, I really hope that Modern Warfare doesn't become another World War II. I don't want it to become a forgotten Call of Duty, which honestly, it, it's in danger of that as it's called Modern Warfare and it can be easily confused with either COD 4 or Modern Warfare Remastered. So it's really got to establish its identity in some kind of way, either it being the Spec Ops or whatever they're going to do with the campaign or something in the multiplayer that we don't know about yet uh, instead of just removing features that we've already played with in the past because if that's the case, then I think that's a pretty bad formula. Now, that being said, I am very hopeful for this year's Call of Duty. I, I thought COD in general was in a lot of trouble with the backlash that BO4 received, but it seems that a lot of people are extremely receptive to Modern Warfare, and that's whether that's just because it's nostalgic and they played, you know, Modern Warfare in the past. I, either way, I think it's a good sign that people are genuinely hyped about this. Believe me, the point of discussing these two big issues is because I, I absolutely want what's best for this game, and I'm sure most of you guys do as well. And also, these are not easy problems to solve, and that's why we're talking about them, but I think they're the most fundamental issues that Call of Duty has to face, but I, I, I believe it can be done well, and this could be a very successful year for this game. So, let me know what you guys think about both of these, these issues, and what you would do about them. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts on Modern Warfare's multiplayer, what you think about it, and whether if you're excited for it to come out or not, and also, make sure you guys drop a like on the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are brand new, of course, and uh, go follow me on Twitter. The link to that will be down below in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next stream or the next video. Take it easy, and peace out.